Well, hello everybody. Today is April 30th, 2023. We are in Paris, California. I figured I'd come out here and look at Old Town, see what's around here, check out some historical spots, and also maybe some trains. Let's go. So directly uh, behind me was uh, the Paris, the old theater. And here we are on one of the main streets. I'm gonna go check out the historical museum. Hopefully they're open. Right across the street, there's Dad's Auto. Got some Disney DCA vibes. So let's go. So I saw a sign that said Paris was established in 1911. It's an old train town too. So here's a, the Paris Santa Fe Freight House, which sadly looks like they're closed at this time. So won't be able to go inside here for now, but it's classic stained glass in there too. I will have to come back here when they open. Maybe they'll open today. Ah, actually somebody's inside. Our luck might have changed. So we're on the corner of D and 4th Street, and here's the Bank of Paris. Now I guess it's a historical society that's available by appointment only. You can tell the glass on that how old this is. Pretty cool. Oh, here we go. On this day, Wednesday, July 29, 1992, the City of Paris, the Redevelopment Agency of the City of Paris, the Riverside County Transportation Commission, and the State of California of uh, Transportation celebrate the grounds breaking for the State Highway 74 improvements. So that's very exciting. I thought it had something to do with the building itself here, but fortunately, it did not. So that's where we just were, right over there. And oh, wow, look at this. They got a, they got a basement. No access. It seems to be the world's biggest barbershop right there. I don't know how true that is, but they seem to think so. So I stumbled across this place. This was one of the first commercial buildings in early Paris. This place was built all the way back in, what did they say? 1886 by Swiss immigrant couple Bernardo and Marcelina Bernascani. It has 24 hotel rooms and was a place where people from the train and also the gold miners would come and stay. I guess it fell into disrepair and on this channel I've done the, the Mott Family Car Museum and I guess after it was set on fire twice John Mott of the Mott family restored it back to this. And it was said that the daughter of the people that built this place lived here as well until she was 97. She would stand outside and wave. Here's a placard denoting nothing. Yeah, see her right there. Waving to passerbys. This place has to be haunted. Go around the back and see if there's anything cool back here. There are some crazy people around here though. I just watched a lady have an argument with herself. 24 rooms in here? This place is tiny. All right, the Southern Motel. Moving along. Well, that's the whole main street or D street or whatever you want to call it, but there's Tecalula's, a marketplace, another barbershop. I wonder if they know about the other, the world's largest barbershop, and a broken door. So as you go down this way, we're gonna head down and go to the train museum. Just made the way about a half a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile from D Street. We're back at the train museum. It's Sunday, why not? Let's go see what they're firing up today and see what trains they have. Uh, on the grounds and that are working today. Let's go. And the hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. They're open free of charge. There's a airplane just like Elsinore. Paris is known for skydiving as well. Right past the old Disney ticket booths. And what is this? The Orange Railway Museum. Barbecue boots and brew. When is that? I feel like it just passed. 
Oh, that is pricey. 35 bucks. Includes two barbecue taste tickets and two beer samples. What a deal. Sounds like that crow's laughing at me. So they have the San Fernando Valley cable car out. Maybe he's gonna fire that thing up right now. Get lucky enough to see that thing go by. Yes. Don't eat that. No. Look at there's a bug right there. Go get him, lizard. That scared us. Go get him, lizard. He's right there. He's getting away from you. You don't. You're... Here he comes. The San Fernando Valley. Uh-oh, sounds like it ran out of juice. This guy is really not scared of me at all. Push-up time. Getting his early morning workout. There you go. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Keep it going, lizard. You're a big guy. All right, enough with the lizard. Let's go check our trains. Got this one too, south, uh, the old LA rail car. There goes the Pacific Electric. This is cool. So you can see anything in front of it, shopping carts, homeless people, whatever's on the tracks. Scoop them up right there and take them for a little ride. I'll cool this one. Must have been going yesterday. There's the old pay-as-you-go box. Classic benches, too. And even the old advertisement. BT Babbitt Soap Powder. To open a door, stand on plate. Like that. Original benches. Got the windows open, get a little fresh air. I'm behind bars. Money. I think I'll make my way over to the Pacific Electric Building and keep that open as we head down the train tracks. I think we're safe for now. It's one of those ones that you don't want to get your feet caught in. It's making a switch. Walk in there. This, I found the number one GE. I don't know what this is. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me. H8N. Probably used for moving cars. That is pretty interesting. This one was made by the Kilbourne and Jacobs Manufacturing out of Columbus, Ohio. Not sure what that is either. Oh, cool. Pacific Electric is open. I think they moved the one, the Roger Rabbit car out of here. Maybe they're, uh, they had it on the tracks. Maybe that was the one I went by earlier. Maybe they used that one yesterday. That. Here's a Pacific Electric being worked on. You can just smell the, the age in this place, the nostalgia. Oh, here we go. Just a little bit of information. This is the business car, 1299, built in 1913. Make our way around. I believe back here is the singing in the rain car. Wow, look at that. Pacific Electric 1624. Pay as you enter. And this one, the Bernie car. That's right, I have documented this. It was one of three trolleys sold to MGM Studios where they were used in such classics as singing in the rain. And that's the scene right there. Wow, that's... Oh. That wasn't me. Here's some of the old advertisements that they had. Why is the safety car safe? Because they told you so, that's why. That's why. Okay. The barrier of safety between the fallen pedestrian and the car wheels. Okay. 
I believe you. And this one is Bakersfield and Kern Railway Number Four, built 1900 by the Holman Company. The Pasadena Short Line. I can climb up here. Whoa. Either I'm extremely heavy or that thing felt like it was going to tip over. Better check my weight. Here's the YBT Co. I just love those headlights. I have to get this thing cranked up. Get it back on the railway. Making my way out, as we stated, that other one was used in Singing in the Rain. So that was one of the three. We got number two right here. But it looks like the other one was one in this photo. But yeah, this one too. No wonder it's still got all the advertising. Sounds like somebody's making their way in. I hear a train on the tracks coming. Let's go see what we can find. Classic Pacific Electric sign. There's a Southern Pacific caboose down there too. Not to be confused with the party caboose. I don't know what it is, but I really love the hobo camp that they have here. I want to see people in it though. There's no hobos here ever. I gotta tell you, this looks better than the San Fernando Valley and actually any downtown actually. I'd rather live here than what I've seen on the streets nowadays. They even got a sink there. Got a little place for their fire, cook up a hot meal. Do you think the chair is like intentionally knocked over, like the hobo's got in a fight? Or just accidentally? I think it adds to it, kind of like the scraps over here. And the hobo camp plaque to let you know what life was like in the 1930s as a hobo. That's fun to say, hobo. Looks like they had this big mamma jamma running yesterday. The Southern Pacific. Yeah, this place must have been packed yesterday for that barbecue and brews and beers and whatever else they had. Yeah, because I've been on this one before. But I didn't know that they would have hooked up the some Pacific caboose to it too, that's cool. Wow, yeah, these these ones hold a lot of people inside. I've been in there before. It's not all that exciting, but it's a fun little ride. Go down about a half mile track and then just, it goes backwards. Well, I thought I'd show you inside the cars too. Look at this, one going that way, one going that way. Pretty weird. Oh, let's see if this one's open. Here we are, taking a peek outside. We are on the track. All right. It is getting kind of warm today. Tickets, please. Let's get your tickets, people. Yeah, if you're taking this train for any long amount of time, probably would not be very fun. There's the old Caboose. I wonder if that's open. Let's check. It wouldn't be a trip to the old train museum without stopping by the party caboose. In all her glory. I figure it's a female. But once again, oh wait, is it open? Of course not. The party caboose is always closed. Wouldn't it be a trip? To the old museum without the magnetic flagman. And this guy too, this creepy thing. It just spins on its own. From time to time. Oh cool, the Los Angeles Railway Party is open. These are all like the cable cars and things like that. Probably because they have a few of them out. Let's go see what's new in here. Shall we? With my luck, I'm gonna get copyrighted for that song. YouTube won't even know what it is, but they'll copyright me. That's all right, I'm not at that number yet. 
the yellow cars. So change this one. Whoa, what is this? The LA LA Railway Strike, the Billy Club. Get out of line and get a piece of that. Heading down to Pico and First. This is the uh what is it? The one that they used to put bodies in and take it down for people that didn't have cars. There it goes, there's the casket. And the family would sit in here. But yeah, if you didn't have money, then you'd rent this thing out for the day, have your service, and just take it to the cemetery. How thoughtful. One last ride. The music does add a new touch to it. North and Civic Center, let's go on this side. Oh, I made it through there without getting crushed. Rebuilt 1923. What do you mean rebuilt? From when? What do you mean built? LA transit lines. Look at the wood on this. How many people have been in this and took rides, going to work, join the weekend? Enter through the front. All right, let's head over to Ward Kimball. I want to see what they're doing with his train. Before I got out of here, I stopped by this one. So California, San Francisco. This one was on Market Street. The Market Street Railroad Company? Look at that. You see the rot? These things were built to last, that's for sure. Most of them about 100 years old already. Which isn't that long. This one was owned by Knott's. Oh, I didn't know that. One of the battery-powered cable cars at Knott's in the 1960s. No way. Knott's Berry Farm. When did this thing end? There's a chance I could have ridden this thing. Let me get rid of this. The six cars were modified with motor drives, blah, blah, blah. Five of these returned to San Francisco in 1981, while car 43 remained behind as a display. And I take it this is 43. Rarely do I ever see this uh, always open. And these doors I never see open. The Grizzly Flats Railroad, this is, well, has the Disney connection with Ward Kimball, one of the nine old men, one of the original illustrators for Walt Disney. All right, let's go inside. Look at that, there she is being rebuilt still. So they do have all the parts. This train was in the backyard in San Gabriel Valley at Ward Kimball's. The Nevada Central album. Restor restoration begins in Ward Kimball's backyard. Look at that. Being re-railed after a mishap along the line. Note the sand dome cover in the center of the tracks. So awesome. Baldwin Locomotive Works, Philadelphia. Yeah, I've done a few videos on this train, so if you do enjoy it, I'm just trying to keep up to date to Emma, Nevada. Grizzly Flats Railroad. Check this out. Original artwork right here. And right here. So awesome. There he is, going for a ride. His wife bought him this train. That is so cool. Gotta to touch it. Here's a shot from behind, the other number two Grizzly Flats. That's what it would have looked like on the line in Ward's backyard. And if you're a Disney fan like I am, here's Chloe. 
proud sponsor of the Chloe Restoration Project. Isn't that cool? Look at that engine or the steam. I guess it's steam, right? Or no? How cool. I know that this inspired Walt Disney, so. This is Grizzly Flats Railroad number one. Chloe's. The fuel was wood. So yeah, it's not steam. You can see here too, it looks like a classic Disney classic railroad style at Disneyland Park. One more look at the Chloe. I don't know if it's the Chloe. One more look at Chloe. The American Eagle up top. Whistle. Well, it's starting to heat up now. Getting a little too warm and too many bugs out here for me. So that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Paris Train Museum and Old Town Paris. Not very exciting, but some things to see. Uh, until next time. Thanks. Bye. Au revoir. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. Give a like. See you next time. Alright, let's go.